as you know, we're running a lot of free NDIS information sessions, and what's come out of those are some really interesting questions. So we thought it'd be good to share those questions with you. Today I've been joined by Sue McGreevy, who is a CPL client, and she's going to be representing clients and asking the actual questions that have been asked at a lot of those previous sessions. So over to you, Sue. I'm currently receiving funding support from Disability Services Queensland. Does this mean I am automatically eligible for the NDIS? It's not up to us to decide, or even the state government to decide, who is eligible. That's done by the National Disability Insurance Agency, or the NDIA. I know that I need to meet with an NDIA planner to work out what support I need. Should I start preparing for that meeting now? The sooner our clients start planning, the better. And we'll be doing a lot of work over the coming months and years to be able to help our clients be very prepared. And on the website, there's actually some great planning tools that are there from the National Disability Insurance Agency. Who works out how much funding I am eligible for. The NDIA approves the plan and they also attach the amount of money that goes with that. So it's very important for our clients to know how much they're getting now in terms of the services they receive, the hours they receive, so that when they go in there to get the funding allocated by the National Disability Insurance Agency, they're going to be getting at least what they're getting now and hopefully more. Will I get more money for 12 months at a time or longer? And who is responsible for managing it and making sure it doesn't run out? You do get funding for the 12 months, that's what's been going on down south. But that money is held by the government and the government is managing most of the money. People can elect to manage it themselves, but there's only about 5% of people are doing that. What happens when I turn 65? 65 is part of the eligibility criteria. So if you're already 65, you wouldn't be eligible for the National Disability Insurance Scheme. But if you are entering into the scheme before you're 65, then you get a choice to either stay in the National Disability Insurance Scheme or switch to aged care. The NDIS is just around the corner for Queenslanders. So it's important that everyone starts to get ready. And I really encourage you to look at our website and look at all the NDIS planning tools that are there.